Right, welcome to the first demo on Wireshark. Already I have installed a Wireshark in this virtual PC. So let me dig it up. Here we go. And now this is the Ethernet interface, the adapter via which we communicate to the internet. You see, I can see a kind of wave going up and down here, which means the data has been captured by the Wireshark. Let me double click and open. This is the first view. And now I'm going to go to a browser. and type yahoo.com so this is an HTTP page this is the client software that talks to the Yahoo server and gets the Yahoo page let me stop so now let me filter typing HTTP I want to see only the HTTP okay right here we go and when I click on this I can see The frame which is showing the overall view of the packet and then you got layer 2 the Ethernet layer 1 you won't see in Wireshark Wireshark don't capture any layer 1 information we see the source and destination MAC address the destination MAC address is going to be the the immediate routers MAC address the source is going to be the VMs uh, MAC address and then when you open the layer 3 information you can see here the source and destination IP address TTL value length protocol TCP 6 and then if you go down to layer 4 you can see the port number the source is the the random port number and the destination port number is 80 because it's HTTP and we got the segment length for this payload And then the timestamp we'll be seeing these things in detail later and now here we go the hypertext the layer 7 information that is captured here Windows 10 Mozilla Firefox you know these are the informations that are exchanged that are sent see we are requesting host yahoo.com it sends the payload yahoo.com yep so <clears throat> this is how the Wireshark lines up with the OSI reference model where we have the the layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 and layer 7 information layer 6 and layer 5 is not used in HTTP hypertext transfer protocol which is generated from this browser so now let's go back to our theory